What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and uh, this is our final chapter of Bowman for 2023, at least for normal Bowman that just came out. The Mega Boxes just came out a couple days ago. Um, I'm sure we're all familiar with these, but there are some changes that have been made since last year, and um, it's funny, I've seen a couple of these already opened, and uh, some of the other YouTube channels are not exactly giving the right information so and I think it's ironic because it's all on the side of the box you just got to read it so the biggest change this year so first of all let's do the obvious thing these are the four base packs you don't get jack crap out of these just chrome and paper we're not going to be opening these I'm not going to waste your time with that we're just going to open all six of the mojo packs um, and the mojo packs usually would contain a smaller checklist of just the prospects, but they're not this year. And it says right here on the side of the box, you're going to have 50 prospects and 50 rookies. So, and vets. So they're splitting the checklist. It is a hundred card mojo checklist, non-sequential. So you're going to have skipped numbers because they're not doing everybody. You don't have to worry about pulling, you know, I don't know, some... Maybe, I don't even know who's in the base vet checklist that is being skipped, but you're only going to get Wanders and Shohei's and Trouts on this. Maybe not, um, you know, Brandon Crawford, sorry to say, from my Giants. So, yeah, we got a good luck spacer card in there. All right, whatever. Um, so, you're going to get 50-50 on the Mojos. There also are two of the insert sets made it into the Mojo Parallel, which are the... Um, Sites on September, which is 20 cards, and the Rookie of the Year favorites, which is 15 cards. That's it. You're not going to get your top 100 or anything else in here. No, unfortunately, none of the um, um, the spotlights. That would have been nice to see the Bowman spotlight in a Mojo parallel. But um, no, you're not going to get that. So, again, don't buy these online. It's the 10-card base sets. They don't have any odds. Well, there's no odds anyways, right? But unless you're trying to build a set, which is like I am, but I'm not going to bore you with that on the on the video here. We're just going to open these guys. So, um, and inside the Mojo packs, it's a reduced checklist as well. So there's 37 prospects that have an autograph, and there's 13 rookies that have an autograph. So it's a 50 autograph checklist. We've got image variations for both the um, the base prospect card and the autos. So, and all of this is available on um, Cardboard Connection. Just go read the details there. That's what I did. Make sure that I wasn't telling you guys anything that wasn't true. So what do we got here? We do have a thick card on the second one. Huh. That looks interesting. So we'll come back to that one. So we had the Carlos Jorge, Riley Green. There's the Rookie of the Year. So these are actually really nice. There's a beautiful Otani. So these are the two I've seen go basically hand in hand, Otani and Vladdy. I'm going to send this one in, assuming it's no scratch, no scratches on it. Because you don't get these normally, right? So it's nice, in a sense, it's nice to have some of the vets, you know, be on the mojo parallel because we don't usually get them in here. These in the wrong penny sleeve. That is a thick penny sleeve. There we go. So when I saw somebody open this and get the Shohei, I was like, ah, it'd be nice to get a Shohei, you know, better than an insert. So, yeah. So there's, oh, and yeah, we got the, we're going to sweat that last one over there, see what that thick card was. It, uh, it looked like an insert, but we'll see. Let's see if we can hit one auto today. We got another, looks like a thick card in here. Doubt it. There's Ellie. So we want our first, we want our rookies. There's a nice Jacob Berry. Very nice one. I need him in a paper to uh, finish my set. What do we got here? Alex Sanchez, Matt Mervis. That's a great little pack right there. Both the Mervis and the Berry look nice and centered. Very nice and centered. I'm happy with that. That's why I was waiting. Um, I like kind of finishing the year on the Mega Boxes because you do get... I've had a lot better luck grading these. Um, I just like the Mega Box. I wish they weren't $45. But 
you know, a couple cards like this, they look sharp just with a quick eyeball test here. You know, send these in now. The PSA has got their $15 special. <laughs> $15. So how many people raise your hand if you did your $16 submission at the last minute just to get things going and then they dropped the $15 special um, for June, which is... Um, it's for what, 1990 and above? Basically anything from 1990 to 2023. And I think they just dropped the uh, the value has to be like 299 or something. I had to double check on that. I missed. There's a nice Senga. It's like there. That's where you know having the rookie isn't a bad thing either because you're not going to get a Chrome Senga rookie card until what Tops Chrome or Tops Update comes out. A Tops Update Chrome comes out because he'll be in Series Two, but just as a Oh, there's another nice one. Nolan Gorman, who's been killing it. Ooh, nasty little Trey Turner with the little scratch on him. Brett Beatty. So, again, really, Trey Turner is the loser so far of this whole out. I don't know why he even made it on there. No offense, Philly fans. So, Gorman and Beatty and Senga, two good rookies. I'm going to sleeve those later. But, um,. You know, not bad to have those. Those are definitely going to be grade worthy. We'll take a look. And uh, if you haven't seen our six part series of uh, our 178 cards that went to PSA, we have uh, five parts listed and one more coming this week. So get your notifications set up. Those, that's the real nice one with the Bobby Witt autos and a couple other things on there. So we got a not a redemption. It's always the troll. It's not a redemption. That's just one of the sites for September cards. Ezekiel Tovar, a fan of his. He's got to start hitting better out in Colorado. Let's see here. Got the Colson Montgomery. So, want want on that guy. Tristan Cassis. Another Shohei. So, why not? We'll send both of them in for 15 bucks on another potential MVP year. That is not going to be bad. I mean, if you're going to get doubles of anybody that's not a prospect or a rookie, get a Shohei. Okay. Let's see if we can hit another thickie other than that one that I think we have over there, but I could be wrong. We take another thick card in here as well. Oh, it's a blue. So let's start from the back. Cam Collier. Wander. There's another one. Another Riley Green. So we went double up on the Riley Green and got hurt. Let's just tease and see if this is a first or not. It is going to be a first. So we're going to sweat those two potential, at least parallels. I don't know if they're autos. They do have autos to blue. Um, and here we go. Last, well, the last pack we're opening. Another thick card in there. Let's see. Meyer. Oh, we did get an auto here at least. Okay. So from the back, Tamar Johnson, nice prospect, not his first. Yo, Johan Hel Aponte. And we had, I saw a shortstop. It's going to be the Mets. Is it going to be that uh, Jesus Baez again? Jet Williams on the auto. So again, you're not going to get the first on the autographs because that's just how Bowman does it because it's technically not the same picture. So it's not the same cards. We had a Jet Williams auto on the Mojo. I'm trying to remember what about this kid. Born in 03, number five Mets prospect. So, okay. Looks pretty decent. Again, these cards are always pretty high on the QC. So no, no disappointment from... Let's see. We know this one's a blue first for sure. Let's find out what this other guy was. I don't know if this is even a... It's a, oh, what is this? Oh, okay. It was an insert parallel. Purple. That's what threw me off. So it's a Sedania Rafaela to 199. Insert parallel. Okay, so we got three hits. I, I, I didn't keep track of which box they came from, so we're going to say it was one from each box, but... We might have gotten lucky and doubled up on one box. Let's see if we get an auto here. If it's just a first Atlanta. 
Ambioris, wow, Ambioris Tavares to 150. So that's a kind of a color match Braves card. All right. So we got two numbered parallels and the auto. And to be honest, some decent some decent uh, base cards. I mean, stuff worth sending in. I mean, the Wander looks a little heavy on the left there. I don't know about this one. But the Nolan Gormans, the Shohei's. So, shoot, I keep grabbing the wrong top loader. So, honestly, not too bad of a three boxes there. And, again, the quality control on these is pretty decent. You know, maybe we got some Chrome Drew Joneses in there or some Junior Calmoneras, whatever, um, that'll help, but that's not why we buy these. You're basically buying it for two packs. So, Wander, Jet Williams on the Mojo Auto, uh, Tavares, Rafaela, and then we got not one, but two Otanis with the Mervis and the Barry, all these nice first Mojos, and then even a nice Nolan Gorman on the Insta. So, I'm actually not, I'm not upset that they added these. I'm glad they just made it a 100-card checklist. It's not the full 250. So if you've been you know, thinking that they were screwing with us by adding the um, the vets and rookies to the Mojo checklist, yeah, they did. But they only put up 50 of them, and they only put 50 prospects. So technically, it's a shorter list than even last year was. So there you go, folks. That is going to be the uh, the final chapter, like I said, for me and uh, and Bowman on the channel. For 2023, we'll see it again for Bowman Chrome, but um, I think for 45 bucks, you know, it's kind of like you got you kind of have to buy three boxes to kind of get the uh, the uh, sample size to get a couple hits. But I'm not complaining. I think these 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 boxes will pay more for more than what they're uh, what they cost once I get these in and get them graded. So let me know what you think, and uh, let me know if you've bought any, if you're going to pass on it, and uh, what you've hit, if anything. So. Other than that, keep your eyes out for more. Um, got some more Optic football coming. We have our final PSA reveal. And we'll have Series 2, I think, uh, in the next week or so. So keep an eye out for that. Plus another PSA submission coming up. So lots of fun stuff happening. As always, come on by, check us out. Give us a like, give us a comment, and um, give us a thumbs up. Let's try to... I don't focus on the thumbs up enough. Give me a... You know, let's get to 50 or 25 thumbs up, whatever. So um, start small. And uh, other than that, guys, thanks again for watching. Catch you later. Bye.